All right, so this video is going to be Zcash macro analysis, Z-E-C-U-S-D-T. Uh, shout out to Warren for suggesting this. You made a few different suggestions, and I'm probably going to check them all out, but I'm trying to be a better YouTuber here, and that means I got to stretch out my content so I can be more consistent. So I'll probably get those other suggestions done, you know, within the next few days. And shout out everyone else that's leaving suggestions. Y'all are helping me farm content here, and I appreciate it. And hopefully you appreciate the analysis on whatever coins you suggest. We'll jump right into it here with Zcash. So the first thing I notice about Zcash is it's very low. This is, um, you know, a coin that I would be interested in buying just considering how low it is. And, uh, you know, considering it's been around for a while. Um, you know, just because a coin has been here for a while and because it put in an all-time high in a previous cycle does not necessarily mean it's going to do the same thing again. But for the most part, I usually prefer, um, you know, coins that have gone on previous bull runs. And, um, you know, from there, I look for setups in the present rather than, you know, trying to invest in some coin that was created a few months ago that doesn't have any data, doesn't have an all-time high to shoot towards. So, you know, I tend to prefer coins that have been around for at least one other cycle. Now, another thing I notice about Zcash is, uh, well, where it's at is very close to the lows of the previous bear market. We actually came very close to taking out the uh, Corona with Lime dump wick. It, uh, you know, came within 10% of there. And, you know, that off the bat kind of makes me think that there is a slight chance that we put in a lower low just to take out that wick. Um, not that there's going to be stop losses there anymore from four years ago, but um, I'm sure that would uh, kind of cause people to panic in this area, maybe get some weak hands to sell. So I'm kind of looking at that as a possibility just because we didn't take out that low, but we got so close to it. And what also makes me think that is a possibility is the fact that we have not broken market structure yet. Uh, Zcash is still in a downtrend. You can mark out, you know, weekly structure. Just kind of doing the basic. Um, it looks like we put in a lower low there. And I think it just goes up to lower high. But let me double check that. Looks like we put in equal lows here. So the low of this was 2170. And the low of this was 2170. So we put in equal lows. So we technically didn't put in a lower low and then a lower high. So because of that, I'll look at uh, this wick or that high right there as being the last lower high. And that's interesting. It looks like it also put in equal highs on that lower high. So, um, you know, equal highs is technically more of a reason to come up and take out that level. You can kind of think of it like there's double the amount of stop losses up here. The stop losses above that high and above this high. And they are the same exact price point. So... You know, I look at that as there's a liquidity above those levels, and that is also a very significant high because breaking above that aggressively with a close means that we transition weekly market structure to bullish. And I have to say, I would not really be interested in longing this or in purchasing this until we do break weekly market structure. Um, that's kind of how I'm viewing it. That's, you know, my personal opinion. I don't think it's a good idea to buy this while there's a potential for it to put in a lower high and then a lower low still because uh, it is still in a downtrend um, even though things are starting to look a little bullish on market cipher i think the real confirmation will be flipping market structure and um yeah from there i can start to plan out some uh well ideas some plans for this uh, that's how i'm approaching it but we are definitely starting to see weekly market cipher uh kind of shift in the direction of the bulls we are seeing money flow have some nice curvature um you know this is pretty much exactly what i want to see from weekly money flow and um you know who knows if it's gonna cross over straight away or if it's maybe gonna delay things a bit and cross over later but we are seeing that nice overall curvature present itself and uh right now momentum is also on a pretty steady increase it's uh you know kind of respecting this trend line of upwards direction so momentum is looking good. It's also putting in higher highs in the green. It uh, finally got a weekly momentum wave above the zero line, which uh, looks like that's the first time that happens since the bull market. So, you know, we are seeing momentum have an uptrend, a sustained uptrend potentially that continues with another higher high in momentum. And money flow is looking pretty good right now. It's uh, having a nice curvature to the upside. Now, the daily time frame. Uh, here is another reason why I'm not really looking to, uh, you know, look for long setups really on Zcash until we end up breaking some kind of significant structure. 
uh, because we haven't even broken daily structure. Like daily structure is basically the exact same as it was on the weekly, um, you know, from this high or this high, whichever you consider the lower high, because they're literally the exact same. Um, since we put in the lower high and then put in the lower low, uh, we have not had a bullish transition on the daily. It's pretty much straight down. You know, if, for example, we had put in a slightly lower low on the daily and then broken structure, uh, you could look at that as like an early sign that maybe things are turning bullish and maybe you could expect the daily uptrend to then work its way up to the weekly market structure point and then from there maybe that breaks. But uh, we haven't even had a daily break yet. So that alone makes me hesitant on it in the moment, but uh, you know that really will change for me personally once we start breaking market structure. And we are seeing daily money flow have um, you know an bit of a reversal here it is a bit jagged and by that I mean it's kind of like a v-shaped rather than a proper curvature and uh you know we'll get more context for this when we look at the midterm time frames but uh you know there's a few potential scenarios here you know money flow is on its way to the upside it even has like a little bit of a local curvature here it looks like it might want to cross into the green so what the jaggedness kind of tells me is maybe uh the overall curvature has not presented itself yet um, you know, we have seen instances where, you know, a jagged uh, money flow wave can actually give continuation, but, you know, in this case, it looks like it wasn't very strong. Um, you know, it was just kind of a lower high type thing. So maybe the daily money flow has to come back down, maybe put in a higher low of sorts, and then from there, you can kind of say that it has better overall curvature. And uh, I already looked at the four hour, which is kind of why I'm looking at this, because uh, I already went through and did analysis on it, but. Um, based on the four hour and, you know, I'll click over to that real quick. You can see money flow is kind of on its way out. Uh, we're seeing momentum put in lower highs. So it seems like things may be taking a turn to the downside, which makes me think that this scenario where the daily, you know, gets another move to the downside and kind of fills out a little bit more and gets more of a rounded look to it, uh, makes me think that is more probable. Meaning maybe Zcash just kind of uh, ranges around here for a little bit and doesn't actually end up breaking market structure until later. Or maybe it potentially means that Zcash wants to put in another lower low and maybe actually come down and take out that uh, 2020 wick, put in a lower low in this market structure, and probably make a new lower high on the weekly time frame. Um, I'll have to look at the weekly to see if that could be a valid retracement because um, if it was too quick of a move to the upside, then I wouldn't really call it a lower high. But this from this low up to here, I'd say it looks good enough for a retracement where if we came down, put in another lower low, I would probably say we continued weekly market structure at that point. So I would you know, draw the structure like this, and then I would be looking at this high for the weekly break rather than this high. So this is definitely something of interest to me. Um, I am liking the way that this is looking. I like the way structure is presenting itself. It looks like Zcash is just kind of waiting for that bullish break to kind of give the uh, green flag or the green light to go. Um, it looks like it's kind of building up momentum here. It's been, you know, in this sort of accumulation type curvature. And it looks to me like it's probably approaching the point where it's going to start breaking bullish pretty soon, just based off of the weekly money flow. So this is definitely something I'll be paying attention to, and I'll definitely make updates on this in the future. All right, well, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Uh, if you have any suggestions for coins that you want me to do analysis on, leave it in the comments. And I will see you all in the next video.